Okay, okay. I love it. Yay! Okay. Okay. Are you starting off first? I don't know! <laughs> We're both just staring at it, smiling very awkwardly. <laughs> Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Tyler. And today we're here to talk to you about the latest Bees Bookshelf selection for September, Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the Bees Bookshelf is the new official book club of the Scripps National Spelling Bee, and we're so excited that you've decided to join us on this fun new adventure. We are super excited about this month's selection, Fortunately the Milk, because it is an epic adventure through time and space. You start with a dad who goes out to buy some milk for his kid's cereal, and then encounters dinosaurs and vampires and a jungle tribe and aliens and every type of creature and situation in between, so we really think you're going to love it. Yep, we love this being the bee because Neil Gaiman does such fun things with language. And so as a part of that, we put together a fun game for you to use at your own book club meetings. We're gonna give you a little taste of the game right now. So one of the things that Neil Gaiman does, or one of the things I should say that a main character in the story does, is renames everyday objects with really fun words. Yeah. So an example is instead of a coconut, this main character calls them hard, hairy, wet, white crunchers. And instead of an emerald, he calls them special, shiny, greeny stones. <laughs> so we've given you some words, some everyday words, and we want you to use your imagination to rename them in a really fun way. So Tyler, yeah. do you have a fun new name for perhaps a pencil? For a pencil. Um, okay, okay, I can do this. Let's think. Um, all right, so a pencil would be a pointy mm -hmm. yellow mm -hmm. word scribbler. I love it. Yeah? That was perfect. <laughs> okay, and another example we have on here is a car. Oh, that sounds a little more difficult. Um, I'm thinking like a, a four-wheeled adventure mobile. I like it. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to post Good. this online, and we hope that you will play along and maybe bring it to your word club meeting where you discuss Fortunately the Milk and share. And eat some cereal. And eat some cereal. Maybe some cookies with the milk, too. <laughs> and share what kind of fun words you can come up with. Okay, before we go, there's one more reason why this is a great book for you to read. That's because this year, Fortunately the Milk is part of the 2018 Great Words, Great Works list. Do you want to tell them a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. So every year there are 450 words on that year's school spelling bee study list. And those 450 words come from a list of books that the bee has chosen. This year, one of our third grade selections is Fortunately the Milk. So when you're looking at your third grade spelling bee study list, some of those words will be here in Neil Gaiman's book. Yeah. This year, um, every grade level has a couple great fiction novels, mm -hmm. um, a classic, and at least one nonfiction book uh, that you can find your spelling bee words in. Yeah, that's right. So the full list of great words, great works titles is 41 this year. Yeah. You can find that all at spellingbee.com. So thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our little video, and we hope that you take some of our ideas and have your own little Bees Bookshelf Book Club and tell us all about it on our social media channels. Bye. Bye. We're going to eat some cereal. <laughs>